Hi everybody, I'm going to do a quick video about transitioning from a climb to levelling off. Uh, in Boeing that's called Alt Acquire, on Airbus it's called Alt Star and then of course Alt. So we will look at the Boeing one first. So I'll just unpause this and we will climb from uh, 7,000 feet where we are using level change safest way of climbing um, on Airbus that will be called open climb and we will see what happens when we approach our new altitude of 8,000 feet so I'm going to press the level change button now we can see straight away we've gone to N1 thrust which is climb thrust now and we've gone to the autopilot doing the speed uh, from the MCP 250 knots so as the thrust goes in the speed rises and the autopilot pitches us up to um, maintain that speed. Almost straight away, look, we've gone into Alt Acquire. Now this isn't a mode that you can um, select. It's a transition mode between climbing and leveling off. So what will happen is once we level off at 8,000 feet, Alt Acquire will change to um, Alt or Alt Hold, depending on the aircraft model. And we will see that the auto throttle has already gone back into MCP speed from the thrust climb mode. So as you are leveling off, the auto throttle will do the speed. The uh, autopilot now has leveled us off and we are holding the altitude of 8,000 feet. So Alt Acquire, not a mode you can select. It is a transition mode between climbing and leveling off. Let's have another look. I'll uh, set 10,000 feet this time. Give us a, a bit more of a chance to see it. So 10,000 feet, hit level change. And what we should see is the autopilot will be told to do speed and the auto throttle will do the thrust. So here we go. And there we go. The auto throttles, as you can see, the throttles are advancing. And we are going into climb thrust. Sometimes it's uh, depicted as cruise, but it's the maximum thrust you can have that time for normal flying and we can see that we're climbing quite nicely and we've gone into Alt Acquire again. So Alt Acquire has the box around it, MCP speed for the auto throttle. Remember if the autopilot is having to do something other than speed then the auto throttle must be doing the speed. So because the autopilot is leveling us off the auto throttle has gone back into the MCP speed mode which it is in when the autopilot is having to do something like altitude, glide slope, uh, VNAV path, anything where it cannot uh, pitch the aircraft to control speed. So very shortly we should see Alt Acquire change back into Alt Hold. There we go. So if I set a lower altitude just to see it the other way around, so I'll go back down to 8,000 feet and what we should see, pressing level change now, is <clears throat> again the autopilot will do the speed, but the auto throttle this time to make us descend will cut the power. It'll bring the throttles all the way back to idle. So if you watch the throttles when I hit level change, here we go. You see the throttles are retarding, and it says retard up in the auto throttle window on the FMA. And to maintain speed, the autopilot is pitching the nose down to get us to descend. So we're getting close. 300 to go now. And pretty soon we should see MCP speed change to Alt Acquire. There we go. And notice that the aircraft's already started to pitch up to reduce the rate of descent and the auto throttle is back to doing speed. So once Alt Acquire changes to Alt Hold, which of course is a mode I could select, and you can see the out hold button is lit, then there we go, we have leveled off. And in actual fact, now we've leveled off, you can see that the out hold button light has gone out because we are now at the altitude we asked for. Okay, so let's have a look at that on the um, Airbus. Okay, so looking at Airbus then, this is an A319, very close to 320. Um, controls are identical on the FCU, the flight control unit. 
So we're flying along at 8,000 feet. I've set 11,000 feet on the FCU. And on the Airbus, to uh, take priority, you pull the controls. So um, if I demonstrate, if I push the speed button, you can see that the speed has gone to a circle. I'm sort of telling the FMC to take control. I'm going to pull it again, and I'm going to set it back to 250 knots. And the auto throttle <coughs> is giving me 250 knots again. So, I've got 11,000 feet set. We are in uh, effectively altitude hold at the moment. Speed is on the auto throttle as expected. Autopilot is doing altitude. Uh, the pitch and roll windows are the other way around on Airbus, as you, if you remember. My current thrust is 54 and a half, 54 um, N1. My climb thrust is 88.8, .8, so that's what I should see during the climb. So I'm going to pull the um, altitude knob and it will tell the Airbus that I wish to do an open climb, which is like level change, to 11,000 feet. So here we go. And we can see that the auto throttle has immediately gone to climb thrust and is accelerating up to 88.8% or I should say spooling up. Now the aircraft will try to accelerate but the autopilot is now doing speed although it doesn't say so open climb is when the autopilot will be doing speed so the aircraft is now climbing quite nicely and as we approach the armed altitude so you notice that on Airbus the altitude mode becomes armed underneath the, the climb mode, if you like. And we should see that Alt Star will become active as we approach 11,000 feet. So let's just see that. And there we go. So Alt Star, which is like Alt Acquire on the Boeing, and the auto throttle has gone back to doing the speed because the autopilot can't do that any longer. The autopilot is controlling the attitude of the aircraft to level us off at 11,000 feet. So that was nicely successful. So I'll just let it finish um, acquiring the altitude. So Alt Star will change to Alt, indicating that I have attained the altitude I wanted. And there we go. So Alt with the box around it, which will remain, of course, for 10 seconds. So we'll just wait for the box to go away and now I'm going to reduce my altitude to 10,000 feet and again I'm going to pull the altitude knob and see if the aircraft uh, descends, which it should do of course. Um, this time it will say open descent, which again is like level change on a Boeing, but this time to descend if the autopilot is going to do the speed, which it will, the auto throttle will need to reduce thrust to get the aircraft to pitch down to descend. So let's let's see this happening. So knob pulled, open descent, out is armed, throttles to idle, and you can see the thrust coming right off. Idle is flashing. I've reached idle, and the aircraft is descending. So the autopilot is pitching the nose down to maintain the speed of 250 knots. Continuing to descend, alt star. So I'm acquiring the altitude, starting to pitch up, starting to level off. Auto throttle is doing the speed again. So identical to level change on an Airbus, alt star is uh, on a Boeing, sorry, alt star is alt acquire, <coughs> and alt is alt hold or VNAV path would be the same. Um, we're not in nav on the Airbus, so we're doing everything manually here. So that was Alt Acquire and Alt Star. It's a transitional mode between climbing and descending and leveling off. Okay, thank you.